Hi, I'm James Humberstone. I'm a senior lecturer in music education at the Sydney Conservatorium of Music, although at the moment I'm at lockdown in my home. And I'm Rebecca Lee, a master's research candidate at the Sydney Con, also in lockdown at the moment. Back in 2016, Rebecca and I travelled together to Glasgow in the UK to present our research on software content analysis for BYOD, or bring your own device, in music education. At the time, many schools in Australia were moving toward BYOD programs in which students bought whatever device suited them to school and the school provided infrastructure for learning, such as internet access. We realised that this created a problem for music educators because there isn't a lot of software out there that runs on every device that you can think of, from a smartphone to a tablet, a Chromebook or a Windows PC. Not to mention software that could support the peripheral devices that we often use in music education, such as microphones or MIDI keyboards. So we tested about 40 software solutions on each operating system and with microphones and, and MIDI devices. We presented our findings in Glasgow at the conference for the International Society for Music Education that year, but didn't ever publish them. So at this time, when we're all madly trying to do remote teaching and learning, we decided, well... We want to share them with you. So on this website, you can see what music software will run on which system. We've even added a handy BYOD rating that reflects the number of operating systems each software title will run on. We've also provided filtered lists of software by what the software can be used for, such as... Making music, teaching content or performing music. Or what part of the curriculum that you might use it to teach, such as... Theory, oral, practicing your instrument, composition and so on. We've also shared our original literature review, methodology and findings from 2016 so that you can see the research base behind our data. But there's more. We're busy testing all of this software again, so make sure it's current for 2020. And we've added 115 new titles, so soon you'll be able to check out over 115 software products for music education. The tables on each page of this website tell you what software will run on which devices, whether external microphones or MIDI keyboards will work with them, and we'll keep updating these data as we test. Underneath each table is a link to download it as an Excel or a CSV file. Hopefully, we'll finish a new version of our research paper too and get it sent off to a journal this time. One more thing, James. You nearly forgot how they can help. Oh, oh yes, that's right. As well as making our data open, we want to open it up for some informal review and feedback. So if you can think of some new software that we need to test, you can fill in this form and also let us know if you've already tested it on your own devices. We'll do all the rest of the testing for you. And if you spot a mistake, for instance, if we've said an app doesn't run on Android phones, but it runs on yours, you can let us know. Is that it now? Yes, I think so. We hope that this information is helpful to music teachers everywhere. Cheers.